what's up my crazy subscriber this is joking johnson 4 here bringing you guys more man 15 ultimate team and welcome to game number eight of season four now if you guys saw my previous two games cam newton and colin kaepernick got shut down in the rushing department they couldn't scramble both of them got negative rushing yards by the end of the game or when they rage quit you know when the the opponent rage quit and um you know all thanks to demontre moore and to david Clowney. they're doing a hell of a job containing those quarterbacks so let me let you guys know something. A little bit of a spoiler yet again. <laughs> I know me and my me, with me and my spoilers. You know I'm always telling you guys spoilers in the beginning of the game. Uh, this is gonna be another one of those games. Like game number six and game number seven. How I shut down Camden and Colin Kaepernick is gonna happen again on week number eight. And let me tell you guys why. My opponent had Colin Kaepernick. And seeing how I'm pretty sure he's going to rely on play action rollout and scrambling towards the outside. Because he's calling in post routes and slants. I'm just going to contain. And I'm going to wait for him to go towards the outside and try to scramble with Colin Kaepernick. Because that's an easy fumble right there. So we're going to be able to see more action from Jadamian Clowney and Demontre Moore in this game. These two guys are a hell of a beast, man. They're my two beastie defensive ends are doing a great job throughout the whole season. And also, Levante David forces a fumble and recovers the fumble. Great tackle, great big hit, but the problem is that's like one out of 20 games he had participated in in my team that he does that. That's his first forced fumble ever. Probably his second, though. I probably forgot one fumble, but that's the first time he clutched it up like that badly. And that's good by him, but like I want to see more of that, Levante. I know you're a sleeper, so show me more. Please show me more, Levante David. Anyways, ended up scoring an offense 7-0. My receiver ended up running a post route towards the middle and a nice touchdown by Brandon Marshall. I think it was Brandon Marshall. So I ended up back in defense. Damon Clowney in one sack and over here Brandon Browner rejects the receiver and makes the receiver drop the ball. As you can see, my opponent tries to scramble and no, rejected by Morgan Burnett, one of the fresh faces on my defense. My two safeties, you guys remember, Mika Hyde and Morgan Burnett are fresh. These two guys barely have two games in. So... They're making some kind of an impact so far. Some kind. They're not letting people throw deep or throw it towards Morgan Burnett's side, which is the right side, because it's sometimes having down below. So that's it for now, guys. My opponent ended up rage quitting. And also, I want to mention this, guys. I've been reading my comment section, and people are telling me to change my cornerbacks. I want to let you guys know something. Brandon Bonner hasn't been beaten once, I believe. Maybe like one time because he got lucky with one catch, but that's it. One catch out of many throughout this whole season, Brandon Browner has been beaten. That's it. The rest of the catches were either slapped down or intercepted. You guys can go back into game number two and see how many interceptions did Brandon Browner get from me, like around three. Antonio Cromartie, he will be replaced though, but with another 6 foot 2 corner. So that's it guys. If you guys like the series, make sure you leave a like and also if you guys got any concerns or you want me to change somebody else, Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section.